Now let's look how we could capture an image using this TTL camera and how we can write it to a micro SD card. If you'll notice in this particular example, I've wired everything up and the reason is this would just take far too long to show you how to wire it up in a video. There's great tutorials online. It's not that hard to hook up. I'll go over a basic overview of what, what I did here. Basically, I have a few wires soldered here that the holes in this camera are too small to put a header pin in, so I just use jumper wires. And you have a connection of ground, five volt, transmit and receive, and then you have another ground and another hole right here you see is nothing soldered in. Those two are actually for putting it directly into a TV. I can take the lens cap off now, and you can see there's the camera, all the electronics are on the back, really works quite well. Second part of this setup is this micro SD card reader writer. And what's important to know about this, if I can get that card out, there we go, is number one, this card has to be formatted in a very specific way to work with this card reader. All the card readers are a little bit different, but generally you want a FAT16, FAT32, something like that. In addition to Having the card, you have quite a bit of wires to hook up here. The most important one here is the CS, or the chip select pin, and that goes to 10 in my example. And then the rest, you just follow suit with the tutorial that you have for your particular SD card reader writer. One other thing to note is the camera has two resistors here. One of them goes to ground, the other one helps with pin three and that makes it so that the camera will never receive over five volts because it works on TTL logic and we want to stay under five volts. So I have it all wired up here. It's a bit of a mess, but that's okay. Let's take a look at the libraries that we need to use and the code. Should mention that this camera isn't the highest of all quality cameras. It shoots in VGA is the top resolution, which is 640 by 480. And also to note, that it can shoot video. So what's interesting about video is with continuous capturing of images, it can actually detect motion. And if it detects motion, there's an Arduino sketch that will actually capture a picture when it sees something moving. So really handy for security. I, I wouldn't use this to secure anything extremely valuable, but it could be fun as a critter cam in your backyard to catch the raccoons going through your garbage. So let's take a look at that code. First, we need to include the library. And I know I can just type in camera. And here it is. And I already have it installed, so I'm not going to need to install it again. But this is the VC0706 serial camera library. Once that's installed, I can go to the examples and go right here. And I'll do snapshot as a demo. And there's really not much to change or to deal with in this code. The one most important one is this chip select. I mentioned that earlier, that's the CS pin. That needs to go to pin 10, which it already does. Other than that, you can read the code. There's tons of commenting and really useful information for your particular situation, what board you're using, what card reader you're using, even the camera. It's a really good library. That being said, let's give it a test. So we'll go ahead and plug it in and upload it. And this code basically just takes a picture and writes it to the SD card. So let's see how it goes. We'll upload it. And you can see, there you go, it's compiling. Let's open up the serial monitor while we're doing that. And camera found, image size, snap in three seconds. Hopefully I was in the right position for that. And now you can see it's scrolling like crazy and that's writing to the card. And there we go, done. It even gives me a 23,774 milliseconds have elapsed since it took the picture. Let's try it one more time because I think I might've been moving for that last picture. We'll try it. And I don't even know if this is in focus. So we'll see how these pictures come up. And at the end of the video, I'll make sure I have one up. I'll reset the Arduino. There we go. and it took the picture. And now it's just writing to the card. You can see that blinking like crazy.
and it's still writing. It's kind of interesting. It gives a scroll with a little dash there. And that's it. 29,946 milliseconds have elapsed, and I've captured two images with my Arduino.